This morning, I want us to just stand in the house this morning as we just lift up some praises because our God is alive. Hallelujah. Can we just worship the King of Kings this morning? Hallelujah. We exalt your name, Lord. You are risen. You are alive. You are no longer in the tomb. Lord, we praise you. We exalt you, Jesus. We lift your name on high. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Let our praises ring out to the King of Kings this morning. Can we just shout some praises? Hallelujah. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord for his goodness towards us, for his manifold blessings. Oh Lord, we just exalt you, God, because you are alive and you are risen in this house this morning. We bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. As we are about to enter into a time of worship, we ask that those of you who are, you know, you're not settled, we ask that you get settled, children. We ask those of us who are, you know, not really focused to just get focused as we enter into a time of worship, giving thanks and praise to God for all that he has done for us. Bless the name of the Lord. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me Yeah. 
shouts of praise in the house we're not here celebrating a dead god we are here we are here to lift up a god that is alive and well hallelujah and the song says amazing love how can it be that you my king would die for me amazing love i know it's true and it's my joy to honor you hallelujah i'm forgiven because you were forsaken, I'm accepted, you were condemned, and I'm alive and well, your spirit lives within me, because you died and rose again. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken and I'm accepted you were condemned and I'm alive and well your spirit lives within me because you died and rose again My king would die for me. Amazing love, I know it's true, and it's my joy to honor you in all I do. I honor you. Sing, I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. Because you were forsaken. I'm accepted. I'm accepted. You were condemned. You were condemned. And I'm alive and well. And I'm alive and well. Your spirit lives within me. Because you died. Because
because you died and rose again. Oh, amazing love, amazing love, how can it be that you, my King, would die for me? Amazing love, amazing love. For the cross of Calvary. We thank you that he's worthy. Worthy is the lamb. We thank you, Lord, for the cross that you, you shed your blood and you died. And because of that, we have hope. Hallelujah. Bless the name, Lord. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the prize. Lord, thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail pierced hands. Thank you for your nail pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, now, now all I know is your forgiveness. Is your forgiveness. Thank you for 
for this love, Lord. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail pierced hands. Thank you for your nail pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing blood. Wash me in your cleansing blood. Now all I know now all I is know your forgiveness is and your grace. Forgiveness and
Come on and celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. Sing celebrate, celebrate, Jesus celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus celebrate. We're going to hand over to today's moderator, who is none other than our sister, Tracy Blackwood. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. How are you feeling, brethren? Hallelujah. This is Easter Sunday. This is the central message of Christianity, Jesus Christ, rose again, hallelujah, and is alive forevermore, hallelujah, hallelujah, God, we give you the glory, I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever, every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. Hallelujah. The Lord is good to all. And his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. We continue to worship the name of the Lord. His praise is glorious. And this morning as we gather in the tabernacle, we recognize that we have a hope. We have a hope. We have Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the one who bore our sins on Calvary. And this morning I was saying to, to some young people that the reason that we know that we have the truth is because our Savior is risen and alive forevermore. Other people's religion, the founder dead and gone. But our, our Christianity, hallelujah, Jesus Christ is alive and well. And what he has done for us, oh my goodness, what he has done for us, he has taken our sins and pinned them on that cross. And sometimes we don't really realize what is involved. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came and died for our sins and because of him we have forgiveness and life and hope and this morning because we have forgiveness we can extend forgiveness to others hallelujah that is what we are called to do we are called to be a people of faith 
Hallelujah. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives within us, we have the power to overcome. Hallelujah. And so this morning, extend forgiveness. Extend grace to the people who have hurt you. Because the Lord has died for our sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hallelujah, God. You are such a great God. Father, we exalt you and we bless you this morning. We thank you for this resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. When the stone was rolled away. Hallelujah. And you rose from the grave triumphant. Mighty God, the central core of the message is love. We thank you for the love that will not let us go. We thank you for the love that never fails, Lord. We thank you, God, that you are our strength and our redeemer. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that we are a part of the glorious church. That we are called to be kings and priests unto you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your eyes are upon the righteous and your ears are open unto our cry. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that you thought of us to send your son to die on Calvary for all of us. What a love. What a love, mighty God. We just give you the glory and the honor this morning. What a love that you should die for me. That you should die for my parents, for my children. Hallelujah for everybody in this entire world. Whether we deserve it or not. Hallelujah. God, we praise your name this morning. Because you are faithful. Even when we are not faithful, what a thing you set in motion, Lord. When your son came as a baby and grew amongst us and died for us and rose again, hallelujah. Mighty God, we remember that he healed the sick, hallelujah. We remember that he fed the hungry, hallelujah. We remember that he calmed the storm, hallelujah. We thank you that he healed the leper, mighty God, that he cast demons out of people, hallelujah. And he has left that legacy for us as a church, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that greater are you that is in us than he that is in the world, mighty God. We thank you that you have made us more than conquerors, more than victors, because of what you have done on that cross. Thank you, Lord, for bearing our sin. Thank you, God, for cleansing our soul. Thank you, God, that we can call you Savior. And thank you, God, that we can call you Lord. Mighty God, even as we worship you this morning, cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Lord, cause our hearts to be ready to worship you, Lord. Cause us to honor you with all that we have, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord, when we fall short. And God, we pray that you would get the glory in this service this morning. We present everyone to you, Lord, who is participating. We present, mighty God, the speaker. Lord, we present the musicians. We present the congregants, Lord, and especially the children and young people this morning. Mighty God, you say, suffer the little children to come unto me. And forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah, God, we thank you, Lord. For your grace and your mercy, hallelujah. We thank you, God, that you came to set the captives free, hallelujah. We thank you, God, that you're a chain-breaking God, hallelujah. We thank you, God, that you're our provider, hallelujah. That you're our strength and our redeemer. And so, God, we present ourselves to you, Lord. Father, we pray, God, that you would continue to cover over us. And so, God, we give you the glory and the honor this morning in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
we are going to continue to worship the Lord by singing the hymn number 12. Hymn number 12. And I'm just going to ask the praise team to come back and to lead us in that. Bless the Lord. Hymn number 12. Praise him, praise him. Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Sing, O earth, his wonderful love proclaim. Hail him, hail him, highest archangels in glory. Strength and honor give to his holy name. When we have found it, please stand. Praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Sing, O earth, his wonderful love proclaim. Hail him, hail him, highest archangels in glory. Strength and honor give to his holy name. Like a shepherd, Jesus will guide his children. In his arms, he carries them all day long. Oh, he saints that dwell on the mountain of Zion. Praise him, praise him, ever in joyful song. Praise him, praise him, Jesus our blessed Redeemer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now we are going to hear the word of God as it comes to us from St. Matthew chapter 28. And I'm going to invite the young people who are to read this passage to come forward. While you find it, St. Matthew 28. If I could have all the young people who are to read this passage come forward for me. And following that, we will have an item from the children's choir. Thank you. Good morning, brethren. So the scripture reading is taken from St. Matthew chapter 28. Please stand, everyone, for the reading of God's holy word. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven 
and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his remnant was white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And he, behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall he see him, lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and they did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail! And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. And said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Now when they are going, behold, some of the watch came into the city, and shewed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this come, if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Here endeth the, the reading of God's holy word. Thanks be to God.
Praise God. Give them another round of applause. These are our children and they're doing well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We are now going to have the welcome and notices. And that will be done by our deacon, Mark Morgan, the secretary of the church. And following that, we are going to have an item by our orchestra. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Are you glad to be here this morning? Are you glad to be on top of the grave this morning? Isn't God good? Give him the best praise you can give him this morning. God is an awesome God. He's a good God, and for that, we worship him. No stick or stone going to take my place. We're going to worship him. We're going to adore him. And on this Resurrection Sunday, we want to say to somebody, or say to ourselves, is ourselves is in the way. Give me pass. Give me pass. If yourself in your way, just tell yourself, say, give me pass. Give me pass. Let me praise my Lord. Hallelujah. If God is for us, as what the children say, if God is for us, so hallelujah, who can be against us? Good morning, brethren, visitors, friends. I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Indeed, it's very, very nice to see all the faces in the house this morning. God is a good God. To our first time on occasional visitors, we will extend an extra warm welcome to you to this our morning service. On behalf of our pastor, the Reverend Orville Salmon, and Minister Carl Bryson, and indeed the membership of this church. Our regular scheduled services are as follows. We have Sunday school, 8.30 a.m., followed by divine worship at 10 a.m. Children's church is kept on a... First and third Sundays, on thir first and third Sundays, where they march over to be fed of the word at their level. We have our converts classes on Tuesdays at 5.30 p.m. We have Bible studies on Tuesdays also at 6.30 p.m. Prayer and fasting held in the hall at 10 a.m. And that's followed in the evening at 6.30 p.m. by uh, for our prior meeting in the hall. We have ongoing our online prior meetings, our online prior meetings where we meet together over the Zoom platform at, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on the online medium. We have youth meetings on Saturdays at 5 p.m. At this time, I'm going to ask, are there any first-time visitors among us this morning? First time? Returning? Haven't been here for a while? Okay. We're all familiar with each other, and we give God thanks for, our, for his goodness that all of us could be here, be here this morning. Birthdays. Those who celebrated birthday between the course of last week to today... If you are in the hall, could you please stand between the course of last week to today? No one? But we do have some members not here that celebrated birthday. We have uh, Deacon Diana Salmon. That's our pastor's wife. She celebrated a birthday. We also have Deacon James Hamilton celebrating his birthday today. And we give God thanks for both of them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continuing the notices. Kindly remember also, my brothers and sisters, the sick and the shut in. We need to pray for them and we need to lift them up. And we need to uh, watch out for them 
Amen. We need to call them. We need to talk with them. And even those who are not necessarily sick, but they are not in service Sunday after Sunday, uh, we need to look out for them also. Amen. Today is, as I would have said before, is Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday is a day where we celebrate the triumphant re uh, uh, resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? And today, we have in our midst, and I wanted to make him welcome, um, our evangelist Ishmael Bent. Yes. And you will hear from him a little later. All right. Um, Sister Neil, those who were here on Good Friday, you would have heard she heard her talk about uh, leaving us for a little while. Yes, so please remember Sister Valerie Neal in prior as she travels, right? So she should be leaving during the course of this week. So please remember her in prior, remember her family also. On a sad note, some of you would have seen it already. On a sad note, um, one of our pastors of Church of the Firstborn have passed on. Um, I understand it was this morning. And he is the pastor of Judah Gospel Hall. And I think it's Antioch. Uh, but... You know, it, it, it really shows our mortality and really shows how we are to be ready at any time to transition because this was sudden and unexpected, right? So um, he has transitioned to be with the Lord, and we give God thanks for the life he would have lived. He is Pastor Kalinda. I don't think I mentioned his name before. So Pastor Kalinda has transitioned to be with the Lord, all right? So let us keep the family in prayer. Let us really keep them in prayer because um, this is a hard one for them, I can imagine. Not expecting your loved one to pass and they have passed. So let's keep them in prayer. The National Women's Fellowship, that's a National Women's Fellowship, uh, they will be having their seminar this Saturday at, C uh, at Emmanuel Gospel Hall. Uh, and the contribution is 1500 Please speak to uh, the women's president here, Deacon Barnett, Nicole Barnett. For those who want to go, please speak to Deacon Nicole Barnett. So this contribution will give you lunch and materials. There is an event coming up uh, that you would have heard of already next week, Sunday at 6 p.m. And I dub it Generous Love. Generous Love. And it's going to be a panel discussion, among other things, seminar, panel discussion. And it's going to be focusing on singles, married, love in general. And everybody here is expected and invited to be here. We'll also have some external persons being on that panel, along with our own very own pastor, someone who will also share with us on that panel also, among other things that will be had. Right? So please, please, um, don't let those come from outside and we are not represented. Right? So let us represent in our numbers, uh, come next Sunday at 6 p.m., right? So we'll have, as I said before, some of the panelists that are external from other churches. So let's come and support our own thing. Amen? All right. The men's social, we give God thanks that that went on successfully. We want to thank all of the men who participated and we want to thank all of the ladies, too, who participated in one way or another. Either by cooking, I saw a lady in the kitchen cooking. 
Uh, yes, and I want to thank our president, um, Deacon Everton, who was just working, working, working. When you saw him, he was just a working yesterday. So thank you, Deacon Everton. Could you put your hands together for our president, Deacon Everton? Yes. Yes. I appreciate him. Yes. All right. The Bible quiz will, is on, and that is immediately after church. That's a Bible quiz competition. And as was announced before, we are asked to stay as much as possible and support. Right? So the Bible quiz immediately after church. And this is spearheaded by the Women's Fellowship. Uh, men, women, if you are here and you have your dues, please remit same. Also, remember the food bank continually needs your support. That's a food bank continually needs replenishing. At this time, if you can stand, I'm going to ask you to stand with me for a minute or so, everybody, if you can, stand with me for a minute or so. I think it was David that said, I was glad when they said unto me, come let us go into the house of the Lord. So I'm going to ask you, if you could just reach out to somebody, somebody maybe a few benches away, and give them a hearty a handshake, a hug, a greeting in your own way. Let us greet one another in Jesus' name. Let us tell them that we love them. In Jesus' name, tell them we can work together. In Jesus' name, everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Smile. Everybody smile. Everybody smile, everybody smile. Let us greet somebody in Jesus' name. Let us tell them that we love them in Jesus' name. Tell them we can work together in Jesus' name. Everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Let me see those smiles now. Smile. Everybody smile. Everybody smile. Everybody smile. Oh, smile. Everybody smile. Everybody smile. Everybody smile, one last time, smile, smile, everybody smile, everybody smile, everybody smile. Continue to enjoy this Resurrection Sunday. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. What a wonderful thing as people of God we can greet each other in brotherly and sisterly love. And this is because of what Jesus Christ has done for us on that cross. So we are now a part of a family, a bigger family. Hallelujah. And we can celebrate Jesus' death and resurrection. You know, as um, the orchestra prepares to come up, and right after that, we will have the praise team giving their item. I just wanted to say that, um, you know, we are so sorry to hear about the death of Pastor Kalenda, um, a man of God. I remember him, you know, as being a faithful servant of the Lord. I didn't know him very well, but I do know 
that when we were having our family life events, he was a part of one of the that um, online offerings, and he was really well versed. I was really, really appreciative, and I can just imagine his family right now. So, brethren, I, I encourage you to pray for him, and it's also significant that this is Resurrection Sunday. He went home to be with the Lord. Yeah? And as Christians, we have a great hope. We have a great hope. Hallelujah. Because when we die, we expect to be with our Lord. Hallelujah. And that's why we tell others about the Lord. Have we been telling others about the Lord? We need to tell others about the hope that we have. Yes? Because God has commanded us to go into the world and dis make disciples of every nation. Yes? And so we have to take that admonition seriously. Hallelujah. We give God the glory and we give God the honor because we don't sorrow as people who have no hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, orchestra, are you ready? You're ready? Okay. So right after they perform, the praise team will also perform. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wasn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. We thank God for the orchestra. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. Our God is indeed alive. 
and we're asking as we sing this song that we reflect on the, pr the process of the cross because our God didn't just do it because he wanted to he did it because he saw the need he saw you and he saw me and as we sing this song I pray that we will reflect on this message this morning bless the name of the Lord The heaven once was crowned with thorns, is crowned in glory now. The Savior knelt to wash our feet, now at his feet we Cry. 
victory, the resurrected King is resurrecting me. By your Spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. Yes, you're resurrecting me. Resurrecting me. Oh, God is alive and He lives for. Resurrecting me. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's resurrected me. He's resurrected me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I, can I see all the visitors in church this morning? Can you stand? All visitors in church? I know that the welcome has come and, you know, gone. Praise God. Praise God. We welcome you. Hallelujah. We give God the glory for you. And um, the church... Where are the members of our church? Where is our church this morning? Praise God. Can we stand as a church? Hallelujah. The called out of God, the ecclesia. Hallelujah. The kings and priests unto God. This is the church of God. The church of the living God. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. We represent Christ here on earth, every single one of us, every single one of us, mighty God, others look to us for the Lord. Yes, and what we do reflect the kingdom of God. And we give honor to his name. Are we committed to the cause? Are we committed to him? 100% for him. Hallelujah. And we need to make sure that we are taking the time to build up ourselves in the Lord. Just as though we take in the physical food, we need to take in the spiritual food as well. Hallelujah. The prayer, the fasting, the Bible, hallelujah. That's what we need to do to give glory and honor to him. And we need to also work in his kingdom. Hallelujah. Every single one of us brings value added to the kingdom of God. And so I give God honor and glory for you. You may be seated. Thank you. <laughs> I was expecting to do that, but the Lord is working this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, brethren, as we continue to worship the Lord, we are going to worship the Lord in our tithes and offerings at this time. And then uh, we are going to have the offertory prayer, following which we will have an item by our choir. And, you know, you see these lovely ladies here in white. I was wondering this morning, but thank God... They are going to sing this resurrection morning. We give God praise and thanks. And they are going to sing just before the sermon. So we give God the honor and the glory. Hallelujah.
Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. And I'm so glad you came to save us. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death you paid from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. And I'm so glad you're in my life. And I'm so glad you came to save us. To show the way from the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on Hallelujah. Just before the offertory prayer, which will be done by Brother Tariq Barnett, I just wanted to remind you about the second offering that we will collect for the Family Life event next week, which will go towards expenses. Pastor had said that um, this church event needs all our support and persons gave last week. Uh, but persons are expected to give this week again so that we can defray the cost. And we are really appreciative for what you have given because it has really made a difference. So continue to give as the Lord lays on your heart. And we will collect that um, right after the closing hymn, um, after the sermon. So, Brother Barnett, can you come? And right after that, we are going to invite Ev Evangelist Ben to come to give the sermon. Can we stand for prayer? No microphone. Father, thank you for your guidance and your protection throughout last week that we could have went out and gathered funds to bring back to your house, Father. Thank you for your safe journeys to and from work, and we ask that you grant us your presence once more to go out with us once we enter into next week, this week. And I pray for the offering that was given, and I bless it, that you multiply, and it will do good work in your house. In your name I pray. Amen. Sorry about that. The choir will be coming just before the sermon to grace us with their selection.
Jesus. Praise God. The way of the cross leads home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good day to you all. It is good to be here again to share with you the word of the Lord. I was surprised a while ago when I checked to see how long I have been associated with the church of the firstborn. And I would want somebody to really calculate it to see if the figure is right. 48 years. That's a long time. Time for me to retire. Um, I started associated with you 1976, and um, God has been good Amen. to all of us. Amen? I have experienced with you the low times and the high times, and all of us who are here can say he is a faithful God. 
I want to thank those of you who might have known for the last couple of weeks I was not so well at all. And I thank you for your prayers. Uh, our sister Tracy was in a, on a trajectory. I said she must go on it and preach. You know, um, but I just want you to, by God's grace, to listen to his word. Because he's speaking to all of us. Amen? And all of us who are here today should be grateful to God. He is a merciful God. He is a loving God. He is a kind God. He is a forgiving God. And he needs to be praised. Amen? He needs to be praised. He is a good God. Is he good to you? Can you raise and I say, praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's bow for prayer. Father, we come in your presence this morning. We give you thanks that your word reminds us that in your presence, Lord, there is victory. In your presence, Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Lord, I commit myself to you as your vehicle, as your servant, that, Lord, as you will have me to minister your words to our hearts, my heart and those who are here and those who are listening online. I pray, Lord, for your cleansing. I pray, Lord, for your forgiveness. And I pray that this lump of clay, oh, Lord, this treasure and earthen vessel that I have this morning, that the glory will be to you and you alone. So, Lord, we thank you that you are here. But we are conscious, Lord, that the enemy of our souls would want to fight against us, to bring distraction, to bring everything that he can do to distract us from hearing from you. So, Lord, we come now in the mighty name of Jesus, and we ask that the plans of the enemies will be nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. We take all authority over Amen. I want us to turn our Bibles to St. John chapter 12. I'm just going to read three verses, 25 to 27. Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother, and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her. He said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. I want to share with you this morning on a theme, standing near the cross. Do you know that sound that said, Jesus keeps me? What happened to you this morning? It looks so. Jesus keeps me where? There is a free to all. A healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain. And the chorus says, in, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my rapture soul shall find rest 
beyond the river. All of us who are here and those who are listening, that understand that we are really living in some strange times. I'd said to some persons when I was growing up as a little boy, my grandmother would say that you children are the generation of vipers. And I was jokingly saying, were my grandmother to come back alive, she don't want to say, right, me go back and go back. She just wanted to die at the same time. Because she could never understand what is happening now. All of us will understand if you experience anything in Jamaica, anywhere you travel, that we are living in a serious time. There is no heart, there is no love, there is no mercy, there is no forgiveness, there is nothing that stands out. When children can murder their parents, when mothers can throw away their babies, If you drive on the streets and you reach home safe, thank God. And it's not only in Kingston, it is everywhere. Lawlessness has taken over. And listen to me. The word of God says we're iniquity abound. The love of many of work school. And the text that we have here speaks about relationship. And I want us to understand very clearly this morning that life is all about relationship. We are not going to get away from it. At home, at church, at the workplace, Wherever we go, life is about relationship. And if we miss this, we are going to miss some important principle. Listen to this very carefully. God makes us for each other. He makes us to relate to each other. And we cannot get away from it. And so, in another context, Jesus looked at his disciples and he said, I don't call your servants. I call your friends. Because the servant don't know what the boss is thinking. But I want you to be my friend. Because I want to share with you some intimate things. Amen? She wants those who have good friends. And your bunks off your crosses and your friend. Eh? And you're sure on yourself and your friend. When you go to your friend's house, you know it's a friend's house. You walk straight into the kitchen. You walk straight into some places because your friend. All right? And Jesus was saying, I want, I am putting myself at your disposal where I can meet you and you meet me as friend because I have some intimate things to share with you. They were standing close to the cross. Listen to this. Their position was near to the cross. Near to see and to hear. There's one thing about seeing and really see. Have you ever listened to someone and said, well, you know, so me, me penetrate the brother. Eh? It, 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 it is more than just the eye, me, the eye. You're looking at some detail. Me I'm penning the brother, eh? you know, me I'm penning. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, me I watch the brother. Eh? And so when we talk about seeing, we have to do some penetration. We have to just look at, and look at the details of some things. And they were there to see. But they were 
were there to hear. And they were there to listen. Hearing is one thing. But listening is something else. Have you ever sitting in front of the television and you're caught up in a movie? Something there and that grabs your attention and you, 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 you penetrate in everything that is happening, you know. And somebody has called you and said, here, man. You understand? But you hear, but you weren't listening. It's not everything that you hear we're listening to. You can just hear. But when you are listening, attention to what is happening. And many of us in this building and listening online may be hearing but distracted and not listening. So hearing is simply the act of perceiving sound by the ear. But it's to listen to what God is saying to us. And I've said to persons time and time again, it's one thing to pray. The thing is to listen to what he's saying. And many times we go to God in prayer and we unload ourselves to him. And we tell the Lord, this is happening, that is happening. And we come back, we don't hear anything. We don't stop to listen. Have you ever been praying to God and you have to stop in the midst of the prayer? Sometimes we make up our minds before, you know, what we are going to tell God about. And we want to make sure we tell him everything. But we are not sometimes want to listen to what he's saying. Tracy and others of you will know and those who preach. Sometimes you come prepare with a message, Barnet. You understand? And although your beard said to you, is that one again preach? Because you prepare it. The Spirit of God says something else. Amen? And sometimes you reach halfway and to finish, and you finish in a way that you didn't plan to finish. Because the Spirit of God takes over. I said to some persons in my church and elsewhere, and I'm saying to you this morning, for me, preaching is more easier than to moderate a service. You know why? Because sometimes we have a structured program. And the Spirit of God moves in such a way that you might delete an item. The Spirit of God moves in such a way at a certain point the word should come. But you dare not do it. Because sister so so plan and she practice. And if she don't get a chance to give her item, dog near the supper. You follow the point I'm making, brethren? You get the message? Because many times the business of God become our business and not God's business. You understand what I'm saying to you? The business of God many times don't become our business. And we have to make sure that we do our business and God have to wait because God understands. Are you listening this morning from the words of Jesus? He spoke there the time uh, the time when Christ was here, it was his final hour. And you know, it's good to spend time with people in the final time, if you know it. And if you are here taking care of anyone, then sure to take care of them well in their final hours. It, there, there's something that happens to you 
unto that person. When you can feel with that person in those final hours. Have you ever been going through some situation and you want a shoulder to lean on? Have you been going through some situation where you want a, a, an unconditional listening ear? Where you can unburn yourself without trying to put it nice? Just let it go? Have you been in some situation where you just want to just ball? And no matter how you sound, because you have a need and you just ball? No, I said to some persons, in growing up, I was ashamed to ball in two occasions. When my grandmother is going to beat me, me ball out, mercy, Lord, she has killed me. And the neighbor said, I walk over the knee with the boy. You understand? I get my neighbor's attention. Me have ball out loud. So my grandma might have mercy. And the other time when I might cry out loud is when I am at school with my bigger brother. And anybody want to, to fight me. All I have to do is just ball. And when I ball and go to him, he said, what happened, Mishmael? Is what trouble you? And everything just all right. Can I say to you, brethren, there are times when we have to cry out to God unashamedly and understand that we have a bigger brother and we have somebody who can defend us. Amen? Listen to brethren. In these days, Stay close to, cross, to the cross and leave your burden, dears. The song says, Other cross, other cross. Where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rose away. It was there by faith. I received. My sight is not your physical sight. It's your spiritual sight. And we need by God's grace to have that spiritual sight of discernment as how to walk. In this challenging time. There with Jesus was his mother. Can you imagine the mother? There. The final hour. And I said we are to be sure that in the final hours of some person's life, we make sure we stand there. What was said reaffirm our relationship. Mary, to Mary, Jesus said, Woman, here is your son. He said to John, Here is your mother. Regardless of how you feel. Nothing is going to separate you from the love of God. Hello? Are you with me? Remember this this morning. That in the attacks of the enemy and your life and my life. No matter how it comes or when it comes. The main purpose if he can get you to doubt that God loves you. Are you with me? Any moment you doubt the love of God for you is a time when you have opened yourself to anything from the enemy. We must understand that Paul, what Paul says in Romans 28 that there's nothing in this life nor the life to come nor height, nor depth, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power can separate us. Hallelujah. From the love of God in Christ Jesus. There's a little boy who was in a, a competition. 
And somebody went up and did their piece. And they got the applause. But this boy had a speech impediment. And all he came up and he said, Jesus loves me, this I know. He knew nothing else. He rest his hope on nothing else than the love of Jesus. Let me slip and focus a little bit on the Apostle Paul. Paul said, I was nothing but in the cross of Christ. I have nothing to boast about than in the cross of Christ. Do you know that Paul was a person that had a knowledge? Maybe if Paul was in our days, would have had his PhD. He sat, pardon. The word of God says, maybe, you know what? World today said you go to one of the, the prestigious universities. He sat at the feet of Gamaliel. He could boast about his knowledge. You know how many people now will tell you where they go and who they are and put down some things behind their name? Paul could have done that. Not only that Paul had that sort of a earthly knowledge, but guess what? Paul had some strong spiritual encounters with God. You remember what he talked about? That he saw some things. He could not deal with it. And there's something that came upon him. Time and time again, Paul wanted to say, what well, am I just tell them so missing some things? Huh? Because the church was giving Paul some trouble, you know. You never know. Church people give Paul trouble, you know. Hello? Do you know the church people still have trouble? Church people get the kind of trouble, you know. And Paul's in trouble, you know. <laughs> and Paul could have got up and give them peace of mind. And tell them the level of anointed on his life. It was strong. And God had to help Paul. I said, we're going to help you sickle down. I said, they, they said, they come a thorn in his flesh for Paul to cool off. Paul could have worried about his, his knowledge, what he has done in the work of God. He could have done it. But Paul says, there's one thing I want to show off about. is the cross of Christ. Because it really showed me who I am. Not only show me who I am and what I was, but the cross of Christ had brought me into a relationship. It's the best thing. You ever said it's the best thing size bread? Paul said, this relationship that I have with God is the best thing for me. Can I tell you something, brethren? I'll do a church life rough. Stick to church people. Amen? Anywhere you go, hypocrite did it. You never know. If you leave this church and go to one and next down the road, that's fuller than your own, and a nicer than your own, and, and you get some prophecy and some words, hypocrite in there. Hello? Because anywhere the real thing is, you're going to have counterfeit. Hello? I just want to say something to some of you inside here. You know yourself. I don't want to call any name. But I know when person were leaving church left, right, and center. This church congregation here. There's a time when I don't know about you. I wonder where the people are there. Person have gone elsewhere. No, sir? Are you with me? Sir. And I said to people, you know, I don't think I can be a good pastor. Because if you're in church, you must be there for a purpose. Amen? And if you can't fulfill that purpose, find an next church to go, go do something. Hello? 
You see, listen to me. This might sound hard. But I want to say. And trust will help me out on those who know the scripture. God is not going to give you more than we can manage. You never know that. Hello? Are you with me? I'm not going to give you more than we can manage. In both sides of the coins. Some of us can manage wealth. And it's not going to give us some things if you can't manage. I've known a guy who get a bike. He was walking to church and him get the bike. Haven't got the bike, him steal home and I wash down the bike. Instead of coming to church. Do you know that blessing sometimes cause people to drift from God? Hello? The material things? And I know I have to study. Yes, you have to study. But God will help you if you make the sacrifice or do something to him and make this toleration easier. Hello? And I'm saying this to us. It's not every church makes you full. God have him purpose. Amen? Are you with me? Hello? They, they said, you know, watch the what? You know, you know watch the crowd, watch the seal. But what happened? Lives must be changed. Lives should be changing. People should be maturing. Are you with me? And out of maturing and changing, others will come to Christ. Strongholds will be broken. Amen? Amen? Strong walls will be broken. And lies will set free. They can set free from your testimony and your preaching. And then they can go elsewhere to spread the gospel. I looked at a church some time ago. And the church didn't have many persons that stayed. But when they look at the many persons who have gotten saved, and gone out to the mission field. They thank God for what they were doing. Sometimes I said, I'm saying these things to some of you. Sometimes we get cast down with the numbers. You with me? Especially when you are, uh, we call it auxiliary, call it auxiliary leaders. You know, you have the men's fellowship and the women's fellowship. And they will tell you that the women's fellowship always says something because the numbers big. Hello? Hello? Talk no virgin, man. And women know how to make money more than man. Because when, most of them, because when a woman go to beg you, you're sorry for her and those girl. Hello? And she's going to be more persistent than the man. Because the man asked the man one time and said, Barney, what happened? It's a check later. If you ever tell a woman that, you see, she check you later, 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 till you, you have to give her. But don't watch the crowd. Watch the sales. So what I'm saying, I'm, I'm encouraging the men. Don't watch the numbers. Watch how God is working. Amen? Because God is working his purpose out. We will never come to a position where we understand all things that God is doing in your life and my life. Are you with me? Are you with me? It's hard to come. It's hard to come sometime with the grips of certain things and certain illness. It's hard to see your loved one suffer. But God know what I'm doing. Hello? Because some people suffer and die. And you can't even find a body to bury. Are you with me? Do you know that there are many persons right now who don't know where the children are? 
For years they don't hear from some of the children. If they did are alive. You never know. From June, he gone a foreign for 19, so she no come again. And you wonder why I'm to Juni? Somebody see her on a man on the street one day and say, Juni, that. And you go, go back and you hear say, somebody say, Juni. And when you check it out, I know Juni. But Pink, you have a sister that look like Juni. A Pinky sister, she see. Why am I telling these things? Sometimes we think our life is hard. But remember that God is good. So let me think that God is giving us some load. But whatever he gives you is going to give you the capacity to carry it. Paul said, I want to glory in the cross. I'm closing. When we come to the cross, there is that great exchange. There is forgiveness instead of punishment. Are you with me? You deserve to be punished. But God, hallelujah. But God, he forgives. You come wounded, but there is healing. And sometimes my brothers and sisters... The emotional scars are the psychological, those non, what you call it? Non-visual ones are worse than a visual one. Sometimes a pain in the back, you can't bear it. But when a pain comes to the heart, when it touch you emotionally, if you don't mind sharp, you lose your head. But for the grace of God. Are you with me? So it doesn't only heal you physically. But it heals you spiritually. And it heals you emotionally. So for your wound this morning. There is healing at the cross. The word of God says. He has imputed unto us his righteousness. Amen? Imputed. You never heard it. But there's a song that says, you know the song that says, when he looks at me, you know that song? When he looks at me, he sees not what I used to be, but he sees Jesus. You know that song there? I am overcome with the precious blood of Jesus. You don't know it? Eh -eh. So I said, the sound said, when he looks at me, he sees not what I used to be, but he sees Jesus. Can I tell you something, brethren? Can I tell you this? You know why the world is in a mess? That is in one reason. Because human being by himself, you and I by ourselves cannot forgive. The way Christ would forgive us. But with his spirit, by his blood, by his presence in our lives, we can forgive. Amen. And the world now needs that true forgiveness. Our sin may is righteous. We were dead in our trespasses and sin. But instead of death, we get life. Hallelujah. And we are going to live forever. Amen. The grave is not forever. We are going to rise again. Because we are with Jesus. He gives us eternal life. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. There is exchange for poverty, for abundance. Listen to this. It's not so much the presence. You understand? 
If I, if I go put it away that you can it has someone's a pretense. What with the tea? Because some of us like to get things in a bungle. You understand? Waga waga. Are you with me? All some of us want is prison. Do you know that some people don't care about you? They just care about what they can't get from you. Do you know that? You know, some people have in a mind shop that you mark a dung and then fat off of you. If you don't mind shop, then take away your clothes, you know. And eat half your food, you know. Some of us want to see the things. But God is saying to some of us this morning, there is abundance in my presence be with you more than the things that I can give you. Oh boy. You ever in love with somebody yet? Let him look back, yes, because Tracy down with son and and husband down with son. I you see what you are? Sometimes, no matter, you know, some ladies, look for me, ladies, because no look for the man, look for me. Yeah. You know, so sometimes, I know, I, know, I know food and something you want, I just something that touch up. Your husband there? Your husband, yeah. You don't know, Lord have mercy. Forgive me, yes, son. You're not going to trouble me. It's all right. Good. <laughs> yeah, are you with me? And sometimes we give of the presence the things. But life is more than that. Have you ever seen some children who live up at the top class and they have everything for themselves and they still get in a trouble? And then someone got teeth when they don't have a teeth and do some things when they don't have to do? Because sometimes they get the presents, the things from the parents, but they don't get the presents from them. Are you with me? Are you following what I'm saying to you? I can tell you something now, but don't tell nobody says me tell you that. You hear? Listen to this very carefully. Do you know that there are some helpers that are better mothers for the children them than from the mother? Are you with me? Because the mother now no time to deal with them. Are you with me? Hello? Do you know that some gardener is there better than some father? That will show the boy how to fly a kite and to spin a gig? Listen to me. Hold on upon where God has for you. His presence. The song said in his presence there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Can the church say praise the Lord? Can it say praise the Lord? Yeah. So I want you to remember the cross. Stay near the cross. Something is still there for you. And something is still there for me. Past needed. And the preachers needed. The word has said, God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you will always have in all sufficiency in all things. And may have an abundance for every good work. I'm closing. He takes your shame. And he gives you glory. Amen. Do you know that there are some persons grow up in some situation? And, and, and growing up, people never really see nothing about them. But God have a way to take off some dirt off of people, you see. And when God finish with you, them think I bleach your bleach and I bleach your bleach. A blessing will come over you. And you, and you, you, you understand? And your jaw just fit like rosy. You understand what I'm saying to you? Hello? You understand what I'm saying to you? God have a way to take on some things. Hey, let me tell you something, you see. You know, say some people throw away garbage. And you know, say, I treasure them that way. You know, say, man, take up garbage and, and make life out of garbage. Me not, me not, me not, me not make it look bad, you know. But sometimes people treat some of your garbage, you know. But when God done with me, Lord have mercy. Hello? But, well, you know me I talk about. You ever check some girl that and say, I want you? And just as you start work, I'm married to somebody. They must say, Lord, Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. 
Your time, Frank Giga. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The song says, the was turned my morning. Hallelujah. Into dancing for me. He has put off my sackcloth. He has turned my morning into dancing for me. And girded me with gladness to the end. Your, my glory may see you, O oh God. I know what it is when God turned my morning to dancing and turned my shame into glory. I know what God has done in my life to turn from rejection and give me acceptance in the body of Christ. The word of God says, I know how we. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The sons of God. And it does not just appear what we shall be. But we know. Oh, hallelujah. We know. When he shall appear, we shall be like him. For you shall see him as he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could we stand? Could we stand? I don't know if you know this song, but I'm going to sing it if you don't know it. I saw the Lord high and lifted up. You don't know it? You don't know it? Who can sing? Take a mic. And, and your follower come here. here. Catch it. I saw the Lord, I am lifted up, seated on the throne of my life. I saw the Lord, I am lifted up, seated on the throne of my life. I cry. Holy, I cried, Holy, seated on the throne of my life, seated on the throne of my life. Try one more time. I saw the Lord. something from God this morning. Just keep standing. Is your God. Trust and believe in him. He's speaking to you. Listen and hear him. He places you in a relationship or in some relationships. Allow him to guide you. No matter how difficult they might seem to be. We have suffered some loss, but he knows what he's doing. He still loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. And with loving kindness, he's still pulling us unto himself. I did not know if you were listening to the song that the children sang. And I was saying that that song is heavy for them. 
Come here, miss. Yes, no, you. Yes, you. Just, just tell them the words of the song. Because I wonder if you were hearing what she was telling the children. Them. Tell them the words of the song that you know what we're talking about. No, 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 if you tell them, you know, you sing it, just tell them. Yes. Listen, listen to the words. Can I know if you're listening to it? You know? Looking out, it's a great big world. Mm -hmm. Where do I go? How do I fit in? Got to keep one thing on my mind. Maker of this universe is on my side. Mm -hmm. And if God is for me, who can be against me? Um, if God be for me, who can be against me? He's my strength. He's my friend forever. If God be for me, who can be against me? Listen to verse 2. Listen to this very carefully because I want to listen to it. You know, I said, boy, she give the children some strong stuff. Listen to this. Read the when second I verse. just don't understand, mm -hmm. God is for me. Hold on, stop there. When I what? Just don't understand. We now go understand no things. Are you with me? Yes, His sir. ways are past finding out. Continue, miss. When life doesn't go the way I planned, God is for me. When life, you hear that? When life doesn't go the way I plan, something yes, fail. Amen. Yes, strong when, words. Go when on. I just don't understand, mm -hmm. God is for me. Life doesn't go the way I planned, God, God is for, for me. You understand, brethren? So when I heard the children them singing that, boy, I said, every stuff she's giving them, it doesn't go the way you plan. But God is for me. Lift your hands as we pray. Close in prayer. Just lift your hands. Just say, bless the Lord. Just bless the Lord. So give him thanks. Just say, praise the Lord. Say, thank you, Jesus. Say a word of prayer. Just, just bless him in your own way. Just bless him for a time. Just worship him for a time. He's a good God. He's a merciful God. The plans have failed, but God is for me. I don't understand, but God is for me. Just bless him. Just bless him. Just bless him. Just bless him. He's a good God. Neither height nor death. Things present nor things to come is going to separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we give you thanks this morning. We thank you that you have been with us in this place. You have, you have spoken to us through the spoken words. You have spoken to us through the songs. You have spoken to us, Lord, for just that the good gifts that you have given to us. And we reflect, we give you thanks, Lord, for your mercy, for your grace, for your forgiveness, for your love. For your presence, Lord, we just bless you for your hand of healing. For your forgiveness, we just bless you, Lord. For your provisions, we bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, I pray you will touch every heart, every wounded heart. Heal every broken spirit, oh God. Lord, draw somebody to you this morning. Let them feel your hand of love. Let them feel your hand of compassion. Let them feel your hand of forgiveness. Oh God, spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us, we pray. Fall afresh on us, we pray, oh God. And we ask, oh God, that you will continue to speak to us. And may we yield ourselves to you to listen to you and to obey your word. And we ask, Lord, that you'll do for us as we leave from here this morning. Do for us, we pray, Lord, exceedingly, abundantly above whatever we may ask or think. And the church says, and the church says, the church says, could you clap your hands for the Lord and bless the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Have you heard him, brethren, this morning speaking? I've heard him speaking myself. God is a good God. We thank Evangelist Bent for 
speaking the word of the Lord today to our hearts. We thank God for the Holy Spirit, for what he is saying to us as people within this congregation. And um, just before we go into our closing hymn, and um, I'm going to ask uh, Minister Brightson to do the closing prayer. Let us remind ourselves, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. I hear the Lord speaking to me just now, saying that there are persons here in the congregation who are hurting, who need the Lord's touch. You have been struggling with the hurt and you've been wondering what to do with it. And the Lord is saying, come to me for healing. Evangelist Ben spoke about the fact that relationships are a part of the church. There are relationships all around. These are what make up our lives, our relationship with God, our relationship with our family, our relationship with friends and strangers and work colleagues. And in the midst of that, we will suffer some hurt and some damage. But the Lord wants you to know this morning that he's the God who is able to heal us. I remember going to a seminar and um, the Lord said to me that he would heal my broken heart. And I stand here today knowing that God is faithful to his word. There are times when you feel broken hearted. Remember the word of God says he binds up our wounds. He pours that balm in Gilead. You know, and so I would encourage us to put him first and to allow him to heal our hearts. Pour out yourself, pour out whatever your concern is and allow him to be glorified. Our closing hymn is hymn 352. Low in the grave he lay, Jesus my savior, Wait in the coming day, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph for his foes. Hallelujah. He arose a victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose. Hallelujah. Christ arose and we have the victory through him. So we are going to do this hymn and following the hymn we are going to collect that special offering. Brethren, we are a family. We need to hear what the Lord is saying to us. So please come out next week. Um, at, I, I hear um, Deacon saying 6 but it's really 5.30. Uh, please come out and support and please give generously and following that we'll have the closing prayer and benediction no.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Up from the grave, he arose. He arose. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ arose. Lord, we just bless your name today. Lord, we thank you for our resurrection day. We thank you, Lord, that you did not remain in the grave. Because if you had remained in the grave, we would not be here today. Lord, we thank you. You arose a victor from the dark domain. Lord, you were victorious, and because you were victorious, we can live victoriously in you, O oh God, because you have given us the victory. Lord, we just bless your name for today. Lord, we bless your name for everyone who has come to this service, Lord. All the visitors, everyone, Lord, who have come in, Lord, we bless your name for them, O oh God. Once a year we have Easter Sunday. And God, we may not see some again until next year, Easter Sunday. We might see them Christmas Sunday. Or, but God, we put everyone before you. Lord, remember those online. God, we put them before you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for those at the altar. God, we thank you. Lord, you know what the needs are. God, you know what it needs are. If it's for strength, Lord, I pray you give strength. If it's salvation, Lord, I pray for our salvation. God, I pray for those, Lord, in the pews, oh God. Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord. As our faces differ, Lord, so our needs differ. But God, you are for us. And we just want to thank you, Lord, for your love. For your tender mercies, for your loving kindness, O oh God. Not that we deserve it, Heavenly Father, but God, because you are good. And so, God, we just praise your name. Lord, we thank you even for your little children, O oh God. We bless you for them. Lord, we thank you for the orchestra. Lord, we have, we have seen the tremendous improvement. Oh, God, that they have made. Lord, we thank you for them. We pray, oh, God, that you will bless them, Heavenly Father, and that they will go from strength to strength in you. Thank you for the children that sang, oh, God. Thank you for the choir, oh, God. Lord, you are so good to us. We just praise you. We just magnify your name, Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for your manservant whom you have used. Oh, God, 48 years he has been associated with church of the firstborn. God, we thank you for him, Lord. We pray, oh, God, that you continue to bless him. Pray, God, that you continue to rest your hand upon him. We pray, Lord, that you continue to minister to him, Lord, so he can minister to your people. Lord, remember his wife. We pray you straighten her. Pray, oh, God, she continue, Lord, to stand with her husband as they serve you together, oh God. We pray that their needs will be met, oh God, in every way, whether it be physical or spiritual or financial or whatever it may be, oh God. We pray, oh God, that Lord, you will minister to them. Lord, as we are about to depart one from another, Lord, Satan don't like the victory that we had in you in Christ today. Oh, God. And so they will want to spoil it. But God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, you will take every one of us to our safe abode. God, we will remember the passing or the transition of Pastor Kalinda. Oh, God. We put his family before you. We put his congregation before you. God, we pray you straighten them. Pray you comfort them, oh God. Pray, oh God, that they won't grieve as one who have no hope. But that, God, they will have the consolation that he has gone to be with the Lord that he served. Lord, I put the Bible quiz that is coming up. Put them before you, oh God. Pray, oh God, that 
those who participate, those who ask the, 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 the quiz masters, and those who, who answer, Lord, pray you'll bless them. Bless us again, Lord. Put our pastor before you, oh God. He's in the, another side of the vineyard. So put Pastor Simon before you. Pray, oh God, you continue to bless him. Pray, you continue to straighten him. Pray, you continue to stand with him. Remember his dear wife, Lord. Bless her as well, Lord. Oh God, as they serve you and, uh, together, we pray, oh God, that your hand will continue, Lord, to rest upon them. Lord, we just thank you for everything. Thank you for the victory, Lord. Thank you for a resurrection, Lord. Oh, if it not been for resurrection, we would not be here. Some of the disciples went to fish. And God, Jesus, when you came, they didn't even recognize that it was you. But we thank you, Lord, that you know every one of us. You know every one of your children, Lord. Oh, God. Bless us again, Lord, as we look to you and give you thanks. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Shall we raise our right hand for the benediction? No unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne with exceedingly great joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Now henceforth and forevermore. And let the church say, Amen and Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Um, we are going to do the in, the in gathering at this time. I'm going to ask us to just be seated for a little while longer. Um, praise team, can you come and help me sing this one? <laughs>